Hello my Starbucks sisters, it's your girl Taylor back with another video. Just a quick little update on how the journey is going along. We are 9 pounds down which is awesome. I can't really credit it too much to the gym just because I did take myself out of the gym until I'm fully vaccinated. Also I got sick like a week ago so I missed like a week there. So I really can't really credit the weight loss completely to just working out. It's really the diet and what I'm eating. So today I'm going to show you guys what I'm meal prepping this week for me to be getting fit again. Today's video is brought to you by Ritual. So, how I start my morning routine is I love supplements. If you guys follow me on my fitness page at Child's Fit, you guys already know I'm obsessed with supplements. So, I got a multivitamin and it's by the brand Ritual. This is the Ritual Essential for Women Daily Vitamin and you guys will not believe how many vitamins are actually in here. It cuts my morning routine, vitamin taking time, literally in half because everything are in these two little pills. So you take two in the morning or at night whenever you choose. I love taking my vitamins in the morning, so that's just what I personally do. I have like the best flavor ever. Like the worst thing ever is taking a vitamin and it just tastes like eh. This has like a nice refreshing minty taste to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and read to you guys the benefits of it and what type of vitamins are included inside of these two little multivitamin pills. So when you order from Ritual, they give you this nice little pamphlet so you guys can know exactly what's going in your body and what you're getting. So it comes with magnesium, boron, folate, omega-3, vitamin D3, vitamin B12, grapefruit energy, vitamin E, vitamin K12, iron, vitamin A, and zinc. So this is really going to help you out in the area of like heart health, normal immune function, brain health bone support and normal muscle function. What really sticks out to me about this brand is just the attention to detail that they make from being able to tell you what's exactly inside of their vitamins to the taste of it, to being able to source back the ingredients. So I've really been enjoying taking these multivitamins every day. They make my morning routine really fun and refreshing because again, they taste so good. So if you guys wanna check out Ritual, I'm gonna link everything down below and I really hope you guys enjoy it just as much as I do because I really do love starting my morning routine out with Ritual. So. Let's get into it. Today we're gonna to be making just eggs, which is like the vegan eggs. If you guys haven't tried this and you guys want an egg alternative, this is really good. Sorry, my ice just dropped. We're gonna go ahead, we chopped up our ingredients really fine. So we're gonna be adding in some chopped mushroom and some chopped bell peppers. This is what we're working with. The theme of my kitchen is like, Tiffany blue, I'm trying to go for that type of theme. Then we're gonna take the entire container of the just eggs and we're gonna add it into our bowl. Like that. Then we're gonna take a container of the dairy-free Parmesan by Follow Your Heart. And I'm gonna add that in there so it has like a vegan cheesy taste. This is a vegan breakfast, by the way. The whole meal plan is not vegan, but we try to eliminate animal product and dairy where we can. So I don't have that much left because I use this often, but I'm gonna use the rest of the container and add it in here. And then for seasonings, we're gonna add two teaspoons of minced onion, two teaspoons of garlic powder. We're gonna add some badia in there. This I don't really have a measurement for. This is one of those however you like it type of seasonings. Some crushed pepper, this is the best. Crushed Himalayan sea salt, some garlic powder, just a dash. We're gonna go ahead and mix that all together. We have our oven preheating at 350. It's my first time trying this recipe out, y'all, so bear with me here. We hope that this works. We're rooting for her. So, now that that's all mixed up, this is what it's gonna be looking like in your bowl. Mm, hopefully that didn't spill. Olive oil nonstick cooking spray. This is a great alternative to regular olive oil because you know, you save in a lot of calories. Guess how many this is? Zero. So we love zero. Anywhere but our bank account. Let's go ahead and prep our little container. <laughs> show you guys basically like a little rundown so when I wake up in the morning we're having our rituals multivitamin all in one all you need is two capsules you're ready to go girl before I go to the gym I'm taking the Alanyu pre-workout first of all I used to take the Alanyu pre-workout powder form but I found them in the little um cans even better we love that so if you're not a caffeine person skip out on this part but when I get back from the gym I like to have my muscle milks these are so perfect especially when you're hungry and you want to get them gains in zero grams of sugar and you get 25 grams of protein 160 calories I've been looking for the vanilla flavor for so long I finally found them muscle milk just has my heart in a whole different way breakfast we're gonna have our little egg muffins they're so cute I just, I'm, this is my first time trying this recipe out they came out so well with some orange slices get that extra vitamin C so 
for lunch, we're going to be having a Caesar salad. I don't know about you, but I love me a good Caesar salad. When I go out to eat, I always got to order the Caesar on the side. So today we're having it for our lunch. So I got these from Sam's Club. I like things to be fast and easy when I'm meal prep. I'm not the biggest cook in the world. If it can be convenient, that's what we're going to do. So this is a salad in a bag. So we're going to go ahead and clean the lettuce on this. But it does come with the cheese, the garlic croutons, and the shredded parmesan, the Caesar dressing. So that's good. Got these from Sam's Club as well. They're already cooked chicken breasts. They're already pre-portioned out, and it just makes it really easy for me to put together meals, especially when I'm not in the mood to really meal prep, because that's a big thing for me. When I don't feel like meal prepping, I just don't do it. So if I can find ways to make it easier for myself, I'm more likely to stay consistent with meal prepping. So we've already rinsed off our lettuce, and we're gonna go ahead and portion it out. So I just go in each container until the whole pack is, you know, empty. Now we're just gonna evenly sprinkle the Parmesan cheese on top. Our croutons. Also, I meal prep for four days at a time just because I get bored of food really easy. By that fourth day, I'm really just like, I don't even wanna eat this anymore. But I finish it off and then I'm ready for something new, a new variety of sorts, you know? Some people meal prep for a day, some people meal prep for a week. What works best for you? For me, four days is perfect. Great amount of time. These little meal prep containers. I got these from Target, by the way, just in case anyone was wondering. We're gonna go ahead and take the chicken. I just take the full piece and I lay it on top, press it down, full piece, lay it on top, press it down. So I just take the dressing that it comes with and I add it individually into the separate side of the container so that the salad doesn't get too soggy. And then when I'm ready to eat, transfer it over and then that's my salad. So it's just a quick and easy meal. No prep doesn't have to be difficult. It doesn't have to be something that takes a long time. I did this in literally a couple of minutes. So there you go. So now for lunch number two. Um, really, I'm not the fondest of having just three meals a day. I like to eat throughout my entire day. Also, I find that this is what works best for me and my body and like losing weight and stuff like that. So this is like lunch number two. It's like a mini meal, but it's protein packed and it's uh, low carb. We're going to go ahead and take two little leaf wraps. They come in a pack like this, the romaine lettuce parts. They look like this. They come like this. This was a staple for me when I first started out my journey back in 2018. Tuna Creations, or you can get whatever type of tuna you want. I like this brand because they come in so many different flavors. This is the hot buffalo style. And for 15 grams of protein, 70 calories, you really can't eat it. And I just add them on top of the romaine lettuce hearts and I eat them like a wrap and they're so good. You can add avocado on top. The high protein, high fiber is the way that I like to go about my diet and my meal preps. This is what I find gives me the best result. Everything's already made for you pretty much. You just have your lettuce, you wash it, and then you add your tuna on top and then you're good to go and you're done. So, you know, your girl over here is still trying to get snacks. So if you guys are wondering what I'm wearing, I'm actually wearing the sauna snatcher from my own waist trainer line, Charles Couture. If you guys haven't checked out my store, you guys can check it out at www.childscouture.com. But this is the sauna snatcher. It's a two-in-one waist trainer and sweat belt. I love wearing this at the gym. I love wearing it while I'm like going around my house. I love wearing it while I'm cleaning up. I love wearing it while I'm meal prepping. Like it's just, it gives me actually boost the confidence, you know, walking around like a snatch around my house and I absolutely love it. So if you guys are interested in waist training or you guys are interested in getting a waist trainer, this is the Sauna Snatcher and you guys can find it on my website, but let's go ahead and get right into the next. Okay, so for dinner, we're gonna be having cod, quinoa, and a side of veggie. We already thawed out our cod fish. I have it in this big bowl just because that's just how I like to season them. Two tablespoons of olive oil, virgin olive oil. Right now we're gonna use real oil. This is just how I like to coat my fish when I'm adding seasonings onto them. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take a teaspoon measurement and I'm gonna add two teaspoons of the all-purpose spice. I got this from my local international market. Two teaspoons of minced onion. Two teaspoons of onion powder two teaspoons of lemon pepper, sprinkle of garlic powder, Himalayan sea salt on top, ground pepper. I like just, you know, evenly coat them and mix them up. You can use your hand. I do have gloves, you can do that. Personally, it's not my cup of tea. Now we have our cod on the stove. We're gonna go ahead and put in our veggies on the oven. I like to do just a pan sheet of veggies. It makes it so easy to cook your veggies. You plop them in, you forget about them for 20 minutes, then you come back to a meal. This whole meal prep is about making it as easy and effective as possible as I can for you guys. 
because one of the biggest problems that people come across is time and I want to make sure that you guys have the time if you guys can make an hour to do this that's all it's gonna take really to do this entire meal prep if not less and this didn't cost any more than five dollars so this is really cost effective as well as time effective so just pop these in and then we should be done with this meal prep after we put the quinoa on the stove and so hopefully you guys got a really nice meal prep that you guys can do really quickly but also it's gonna taste really good and leave you satisfied we have Cod fish with quinoa and roasted vegetables. Super easy. You're gonna be snatched. High fiber, high protein diet for the week. Let's get it. Next, we're gonna go over to snacks. So let's get it. Oh, home. But it's been such a long time since I felt this good on my own. Uh -oh. And as always, it wouldn't be a Just Taylor Things video unless I left you guys with a quick little rant. So you guys know that I've been trying to work on my mornings and dedicating my first 20 minutes to something that's going to feed my mind, body, and soul. So I showed you guys what I put into my body in order to feed myself, but I'm going to show you guys what I do to feed my mind as well. And I'm going to leave down below a sermon that I've been loving and also a motivational video that I've been loving. But I do want to leave you guys with something that's helped me out a lot. The fact about human beings is that we are not designed to do things that are uncomfortable or scary or difficult. Our brains are designed to protect us from those things because our brains are trying to keep us alive. And in order to change, in order to build a business, in order to be the best parent, the best spouse, to do all those things that you know you want to do with your life, with your work, with your dreams, you're going to have to do things that are difficult, uncertain, or scary. So the first thing in this story that's important is realizing that the answer was in me. And my mind was telling me, pay attention. Anyway, the next morning, the alarm goes off and um, I pretended NASA was there. It's the stupidest story. I literally went five, four, three, two, one. I counted out loud and then I stood up. And I, I'll never forget standing there in my bedroom. It was dark, it was cold, it was winter in Boston. And for the first time in three months, I had beaten my habit of hitting the snooze button. I couldn't believe it. And I thought, wait a minute, counting backwards? That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Well, the next morning I used it again and it worked. The next morning I used it again and it worked. The next morning I used it again and it worked. And then I started to notice something really interesting. There were moments all day long all day long, just like that five second moment in bed where I knew knowledge, what I should do. And if I didn't move within five seconds, my brain would step in and talk me out of it. Every human being has a five second window, might even be shorter for you. You have about a five second window in which you can move from idea to action before your brain kicks into full gear. So, I'm really into motivational speaking. I'm obsessed with motivational speakers. I plan on being one myself eventually. There's one in particular named Mel Robbins. And Mel Robbins, what struck out to me about her was she came up with something called the five second rule. So basically, our bodies try to protect us from anything that can harm us, as it should. You know, like, you touch a stove and it's hot, your body's gonna tell you don't touch that because it's hot. So when you're trying to change your life and you're trying to go into a new period of life, our bodies sometimes and our minds a lot of the times try to tell us to stop because it's scary. It's scary to go into a new routine. It's scary to get back in the gym when you haven't done it in a long time. It's scary when you feel like other people are going to judge you for doing what you really want to do in life and our minds try to stop us. So what she came up with because her struggle was getting out of bed in the morning and it's my struggle as well and I'm assuming it's a lot of other people's struggles. So her biggest struggle was getting out of bed in the morning. So she gave herself five seconds. You have five seconds before your brain tells you not to do something. So she noticed that when she counted down five, four, three, two, one, and she got up. And let me know down below if you guys end up trying out this method. I find that it works amazing and it's actually life changing. So also check out Mel Robbins. I'll leave that actual interview down below so you guys can check that video out as well, along with the motivational video and a new sermon for this week. I challenge you guys, if you struggle getting up in the morning, count down from five and as soon as you hit that five, jump up. I don't care if you have to leave your alarm across the other side of the room to go get it. 
you get up within those five seconds, I guarantee you, you're gonna have a way more productive day versus allowing yourself to sleep that extra five or 10 minutes. Your body's gonna go right back into protection mode. It's gonna go right into comfortability mode. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And don't forget to stay positive, prosperous, and pop it. And keep God first and yourself second and everything else will fall into place. I love you guys so much. See you guys next time. Bye. Mwah.